In the world of cinema, sequels often carry the weight of expectation, especially when following lacklustre predecessors. However, every now and then, a sequel emerges from the ashes of its predecessor to defy expectations and captivate audiences worldwide. Join us on a journey as we explore five remarkable sequels that not only redeemed their predecessors, but also carved out their own legacy as some of the best films in cinematic history. These sequels stand as testament to the power of storytelling and the resilience of filmmakers to turn setbacks into triumphs. But before we watch these five best sequels to bad movies, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos like this. With that being said, the fifth best sequel to a bad movie in our list is Annabelle, Creation. The original Annabelle film marked the genesis of what would later evolve into the expansive Conjuring universe, centered around the chilling tale of a malevolent doll wreaking havoc on an unsuspecting family. Despite its initial box office triumph, the movie was met with lukewarm reception from critics who lamented its descent into well-worn horror tropes and predictable scares, failing to capture the same level of intrigue as its predecessor, The Conjuring. Regrettably, Annabelle succumbed to the trappings of formulaic jump scares and lacked the innovative storytelling that distinguished superior supernatural thrillers of its time. However, in the inevitable progression of horror franchises, Annabelle creation emerged as a surprising revelation. Helmed by director David F. Sandberg, known for his work on Lights Out, the prequel defied expectations and delivered a masterclass in spine-tingling terror. With a fresh approach and a cast of compelling characters, the film revitalized the franchise with its deftly crafted scares and unexpected narrative twists. Annabelle Creation stands as a testament to the potential for reinvention within the horror genre, earning its place among the finest offerings of its era. And the fourth best sequel is The Wolverine. During the 2000s, prior to the Marvel Cinematic Universe's meteoric rise, the X-Men franchise stood as Marvel's crown jewel, with X-Men Origins Wolverine initiating a series of prequels delving into the beloved character's origins. Despite the tantalizing premise of exploring Wolverine's backstory, the film's execution fell woefully short, disappointing fans and earning a reputation as one of the weakest entries in the X-Men canon. Hindered further by lackluster special effects, Origins Wolverine failed to live up to its potential, leaving audiences disheartened. However, redemption awaited Wolverine in James Mangold's standalone sequel, The Wolverine. Transporting the iconic character to modern-day Japan, the film offered a fresh narrative canvas and a chance for Wolverine to confront both formidable adversaries and his own inner demons following the loss of Jean Grey. With pulse-pounding action sequences and a more nuanced exploration of Wolverine's psyche, the Wolverine revitalized interest in the character and paved the way for the acclaimed masterpiece, Logan. And the third best sequel to a bad movie is Ouija, Origin of Evil. Among the plethora of lackluster and forgettable horror offerings from major studios in the 2010s, the original Ouija stands out as a prime example of mediocrity. Despite its attempts to instill fear using the iconic board game, the film fell short, leaving audiences more bored than terrified and earning a dismal 6% on Rotten Tomatoes. However, its financial success, particularly during the Halloween season of 2014, ensured the green light for a sequel, despite its critical panning. Remarkably, Ouija, Origin of Evil defied expectations with a remarkable turnaround in quality. Serving as a prequel, the film emerged as a standout horror experience, showcasing director Mike Flanagan's skillful craftsmanship and cementing his status as a leading figure in the genre. Origin of Evil transcended the shortcomings of its predecessor, weaving a captivating narrative of sorrow, foreboding and malevolence that resonated with horror aficionados worldwide. And the second best sequel is Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. While the original Star Trek, the motion picture had its merits, it ultimately fell short of capturing the essence of what made the series so beloved. 
with a focus on grandiose action sequences rather than the nuanced character interactions and world building that defined the show, it struggled to resonate with audiences as deeply. In stark contrast, Star Trek II. The Wrath of Khan emerged as the quintessential example of how to translate the franchise to the big screen. With heightened stakes, compelling characters, and poignant emotional moments, it surpassed its predecessor in every aspect. The Wrath of Khan remains a timeless testament to the enduring legacy of Star Trek, solidifying its place as a pinnacle achievement in the franchise's history. And the last best sequel to a bad movie in our list is The Angry Birds Movie 2. Derived from the wildly popular mobile game, The Angry Birds Movie endeavoured to expand upon a simplistic narrative for a feature-length audience. Yet, beyond captivating very young viewers and die-hard gaming enthusiasts, the film struggled to resonate with a broader demographic, mirroring the formulaic tropes of many contemporaneous family flicks. Compounding its challenges, the movie grappled with problematic messaging and themes, tarnishing its longevity in the cultural zeitgeist. In stark contrast, the Angry Birds movie 2 took a divergent path to critical acclaim, veering away from its gaming origins to embrace unabashed absurdity. Guided by Thurop Van Orman's directorial prowess, renowned for the marvellous misadventures of Flapjack, the sequel emerged as a comedic tour de force. While occasional trappings of generic family fare lingered, the film's comedic brilliance often eclipsed any fleeting shortcomings, delighting audiences with its irreverent humour and unexpected twists. So among these five best sequels to bad movies, which one you consider as the best? Tell us in the comments section, and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe this channel.